Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 1e on the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics and the question I'm going to do is number 7. So number 7 is on page 35 of the book and it says that R is a vector of magnitude 10 units at a, go a direction at west 70 degrees north. So I'm just going to draw as normal. Draw your x-axis like that. Draw your y-axis. Okay, I'm going to draw the unit vectors here, but I'm going to roll them out just because they're going to be in my way. So I'm going to say i hat, positive i hat, and positive j hat are in those two directions there. So we know that the, that the, the vector r is of magnitude 10 at west 70 degrees north. So that means 70 degrees north of west. Where is north and west? Draw your compass. So if this is west here, 7 degrees north of it might be somewhere here like that. Alright, so let's just draw that properly. So we know that the negative i hat direction gives you west, that's that direction. Go north in some direction here and call that 70 degrees. So that is the vector r. Uh, we know that s is a vector of direction east 10 degrees north. East 10 degrees north. That's 10 degrees north of east. Here's east. So this might be 10 degrees north of east like that. So find the magnitude of s correct to one decimal place if r plus s is equal to northeast. Well if it's equal to northeast it's at an angle of the finest 45 degrees. Right, so look, what do we do with all these questions? We resolve our, our resultant vector here into its component unit vectors. Namely, this vector in the i-hat, this vector in the j-hat, this vector in the negative i-hat, and this, this, this vector in the positive j-hat, like that. How do you know their, how do you know their, their signs? Well, we know, look, if you divide positive, a, positive j in that direction, positive i in that direction, both this quadrant here, both are plus, i has changed sign so it's minus, both have changed sign and once again this time j has changed sign and i is positive. Alright, so this one here plus plus and on the, for a vector r it's negative i but positive j. So we can use our usual saka toa, uh, I'll just do one in detail, so cos is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse therefore the adjacent is equal to the hypotenuse times the cos okay so in this time in this case we're given that r is magnitude 10 and we're given that s we don't know what the, we don't know what the, the magnitude of s is so we'll say this is the vector s so in a, so in, we're just going to say that we'll say the the adjacent for vector s a is equal to s times the cos of 10 like that all right so look that's I'm sure you've seen that plenty of times at this stage if you haven't just put a comment in the video or look at my videos on theory so this is s times the cos of 10 10 it's poorly drawn this is s times the oh this is cos of 10 sorry that's a this is s times the sine of 10 here this one is 10 times the cos of 70 and this one is 10 times the sine of 70 like that all right so you know that the, the vector 10 sine 70 and the vector s sine 70 are both in the y dimension and both happen to be going in the positive j hat direction the vector s cos 10 and the vector 10 cos 70 are both in the x-axis. However, this vector is positive i hat, this vector is negative i hat. So if we want to add them, why do we want to add them? We're told that r plus s must be in, in, in a certain direction. So let's just add them. All right, so r, well, well first of all we'll define uh, explicitly what r is equal to. r is equal to 10 cos 70 i hat m minus plus 10 sine 70 j hat like that that's r s is equal to um, it's equal to s cos 
10 i plus s sine 10 j. So r plus s, I mean you add the i's and you add the j's, that should be nothing new to you at this stage, r plus s is equal to, uh, it's equal to s cos 10 minus 10 cos 70 i hat plus and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to write the j hat stuff here because I can't fit it so we'll say plus 10 sine 70 plus s sine 10 j like that all right now what do we know we know that a plus b or plus s is at an angle of 45 degrees all right 45 degrees so let's just draw that 45 degrees so this is the j hat the j hat stuff this here is the uh, the uh, the i hat stuff or the i hat component here stuff why do i say stuff so what do we know we know that we have, we'll say, the, the stuff, the, the components in the y, we have the components in the x, and we know the angle. And we don't necessarily need to know the magnitudes, because if we look at Sarkatoa, what, what of those uh, functions has both opposite and adjacent? Well, the answer is tan. So if we go, if we take tan of uh, 40, it will say tan of 45, we should be able to get these here. Right, so let's let, let's just try that out. And I'm going to push up a small bit because I'm running out of room. So we have r plus s here, right? R plus s gives gives me a vector at an angle of 45 degrees. So let's try and find out that try and find out those vectors there. Right, so we know this is the uh, the adjacent because that's in the i hat, and we know this is the opposite because that's in the j hat. Remember like that? There's the, there's your opposite, there's your adjacent. The opposite is in your j hat direction and your adjacent is in your i hat direction like that. So we have the, the vectors, the vector r plus s. I'm just going to call it the vector r plus s. I'm going to call it the vector a. And we're given in the question that the vector a is at an angle of 45 degrees. Now so far what we have as we've gotten the vector a, we've gotten its its i hat component in the x x x dimension, and we've got its j hat component in the y dimension. But we don't physically have the they will say the component unit vectors here and here in terms of the number. And the reason we don't is because we have this variable s, which we don't know yet. So we need to work that out. But we know that it's at 45 degrees. So have we got the magnitude of a? We don't. Have we got the magnitude of the opposite. Well, we do, kind of, if we have this value s. Have we got the magnitude of the adjacent? Kind of, if we have the if the value if we have the value of s. And have we got the the angle at which it's it's it, it is uh, it, it is that? Yes, we do. So let's look at our Sakatoa. Now, like I said, we don't know the magnitude of the hypotenuse, so therefore the sine and cosine can't be used. But we do have the value of, of the uh, the opposite and the adjacent slightly, and we have its, the, the angle. So we should be able to use tan. So if we say that the tan of the tan at the angle of 45 is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, and we use these two here, we should be able to get the value of s. So let's try that. Where should I try that? I'm just going to get rid of this, right? So it's at 45 degrees. So we'll say tan of 45 degrees is equal to the opposite over the adjacent right is equal to opposite so the opposite is in the remember the opposite is in the j and the adjacent is in the i like that you should be well used to it at this stage so the opposite is here 10 sine 70 
plus s sine 10 over s cos 10 minus 10 cos 70. Now, I'll just tell you something for, for the crack. It actually says in the book that you're to find the magnitude of s correct to one decimal place. What that implies to me is that all the values will say sine 70. Let's just work out sine 70. Sine 70 is equal to 0 0.9396926 dot dot dot. Now correct to one decimal place is that to me. 0 0.9. Now when I did this a moment ago I found out that when I put in 0 0.9 I got an, I, the final answer was out by quite a good bit. So I suppose my advice really is that uh, it should be 0 0.9 and if you stick with that you're getting the correct answer. If you want a more accurate answer of course you have to put in the other decimal places. So in this one just put in the other decimal places to get the answer that's in the back of the book. So what's 10? We said the sine of 70 is 0 0.9 multiply that by 10 and we're going to get 9.396 plus s times the sine of 10 is 0 0.17 times 0 0.1736 over the cosine of 10 which is s times the 0 0.984 minus 10 times the cos of 70 is 3.420 and that's equal to the tan of 45 1 what do you do? A bit of algebra, pull this up there. So uh, s times 0 0.984 minus 3.420 equals 9.396 plus 0.1736s. So the next step then is just to rearrange pull everything with an s to the left and everything else to the right and we get this particular sum here when you add those two numbers there you get this one add those two numbers and you get that one so finally then we rearrange to say s is equal to 12.81 divided by 0 0.8104 divided by 0.8104 gives me an answer of s equal to 15.0 wrong 15.8 and uh, that is what's at the back of the book sorry that's what's at the back of the book so that's correct the point to note is again if you actually just went for one decimal place like for example there you would have gotten an answer of approximately 14 now there's nothing wrong with that in the fact that you've done the you you would have done the uh, the the question correctly and your answer would have been as you would think wrong but that's just because the accuracy is incorrect and uh, that's all so if you like that video please uh, please like it pass it on to your friends and uh, subscribe to me on my channel thank you